is the Human Rights Act. It is the Human Rights Act 1998, which came to force in the year 2000. I say that the Human Rights Act brought uh, the United Kingdom into the 18th century. Why would I say that? This is a country, of course, where we still have a monarchy and aristocracy and many things are a bit feudal. And <clears throat> what the Human Rights Act does is it partly, not completely, brings the European Convention on Human Rights into UK law. Uh, the European Convention on Human Rights is not part of the European Union. It is part of the Council of Europe, which is still 46 countries and about 185 million people. The present government hates the Human Rights Act and the European Convention on Human Rights. Theresa May called it a terrorist charter. And what the Tories want is to replace it with a British Bill of Rights and uh, that would mean repealing the Human Rights Act. So that is very much on the agenda. This is very ironical indeed uh, because a very good book came out recently called The Conservative Human Rights Revolution. And actually the Council of Europe and the European Convention on Human Rights were the creation of Winston Churchill immediately after the Second World War at the beginning of the Cold War. So he was behind the creation of the Council of Europe with 10 countries at that time in 1949, European Convention on Human Rights in 1950, we were the first to ratify it in 1951 and it came into force in 1953. The United Kingdom didn't allow complaints against it to the European Court of Human Rights until 1966. That was because of the Empire. And we did not make it part of UK law, as I said, until the year 2000. And why did Churchill want these things? It was, first of all, as an ideological weapon against the USSR in the Cold War. Secondly, though, because he'd had the experience of being thrown out by the Labour Party in 1945, he didn't get back in again until 1951. So you can see that what he was up to in 1949-1950, as well as ideological weapons against the USSR, that we were really serious about human rights, he wanted it to stop the possibility of socialism in Britain. This was very surprising because when you look at it, the European Convention on Human Rights is nearly word for word the French Revolutionary Declaration of Rights of Man uh, and the Citizen of 1789. And the Edmund Burke, who was the chief ideologist of conservatism, and William Pitt the Younger, the Prime Minister at that time, described it as intellectual terrorism. And my chapter in the book edited by Dr. Fred Cowell, my colleague here at Birkbeck, is called English Terror of the French Revolution. That's why I say that the Human Rights Act brings us into the 18th uh, century. What's happening now is that uh, the present government, and I think the new government, the new Prime Minister, if they carry out their plan of repealing the Human Rights Act, bringing in this British Bill of Rights, it becomes really rather likely that the UK will follow Russia, which has been expelled from the Council of Europe as of September of this year. Uh, we will follow Russia out of the Council of Europe and the European Convention on Human Rights.